license. By the end of this training, you'll be able to attach a license and verify the license. So this one's going to be really simple. You'll need smart console access, your organizational network needs, and the license file. So in my case, I have two license files. One is an EVA license that I've just generated, and another one is an annual license that I've acquired. So it depends on your organization, what kind of license you have. This is an evaluation license that I've just generated. And I have all the instructions here for how to attach this license to my environment. With R8120, we have a few ways for us to submit a license. I'm going to show you a few of them. A new feature that we have is a feature that allows us to attach a license through Smart Console. In order to do that, you need to make sure that the license are separated. So you'll have the gateway license and the management license on two separate files. So I'm going to go to licenses. Add the license file and I've stored them here. And here's my license. I'm going to repeat the process for a gateway. So if I'll show you the file, and you can see I've separated it to have only the entry for the management. And if I'll show you the gateway one, you can see that this is the CPSG line. I've just separated them both. So that's the new method. Another method is to go to the classic smart update. I can open it from here, manage licenses and packages. License and contracts. Let me go ahead and do a fetch. Okay. Now, what I can do from here is I can use, you know what, I'm going to use the this option. License and contracts. Add license from a file. And I have mine on the desktop. And here's another option. And now I can go ahead and attach a license to the A gateway. And I can also attach a contract from here. So I do have my contract file as a file. It's currently on my desktop. And now I have my license and my contract. I can check it from here to see that I have a license. I can see the expiration date. I can also see it from here, of course. Another option is to open a console connection and use the command cp lick print dash x. And I can see the licenses, I can see the IP, the expiration, the signature, and all of the features that I have. So really easy and really, really simple to use. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.